Hello, my name is Megan Leary, and today we find our team embedded in one of the most dangerous places in America, the Los Sueños, California Police Department. The city already has one of the highest crime rates in all of America, and yet, LSPD has just reported a massive upsurge in violent crime across the greater Los Sueños area. The Special Weapons and Tactics Teams, or SWAT for short, have been dispatched to respond to the growing threat. According to the SWAT team's commanding officer, David Judge Beaumont, this assignment is not for the faint of heart. In this series, we will take an inside look into the dangers that the Los Sueños SWAT team faces on a daily basis and how they cope with the trauma of being subjected to such horrific acts of violence as they attempt to do their job, protect and serve. They do this at all costs necessary, even at the cost of their own lives. A word of warning though, this is an unadulterated, uncensored look into the world of SWAT. We will not be holding anything back. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to Ready or Not. Brought to you by Full Send Gaming. This once bustling train station is now the Los Sueños Police Headquarters and home to the LSPD SWAT team. It is here where they spend much of their day, prepping for their next mission. Chief Alvarez, please call desk. Chief Alvarez, please call desk. Or honing their marksmanship skills at the in-house shooting range. The LSPD boasts one of the largest and most varied arsenals of any police department in America. SWAT Commander David Beaumont, nicknamed Judge, said that this allows officers to familiarize themselves with just about any weapon that they may encounter in the field. Now let's head over to the briefing room and join the team. Officer Noah Smith was a grandson of a famous movie director and lived most of his early childhood sheltered by the money and luxury of Redwood. However, after a series of family scandals hit the press, he and his parents distanced themselves and relocated to McCade. Noah joined the LSPD after talking to an officer on his high school career day. The child of a broken home and the victim of abuse at an early age, Martin Johnson always found himself as a protector. He shielded his younger siblings from harm before he was old enough to understand what he was doing. Joining the LSPD was a natural fit for the person he grew to become. A loving father and devoted husband, he is unquestionably one of the most dedicated officers on the force today. An army brat who moved around the country, never staying in one place for more than a few years, Caleb Taylor found himself in Los Sueños after his father's retirement. His family had expected him to join the military like his brothers, However, Caleb had no interest in the military, but joined the LSPD, where he set several records that still stand at the academy. Approaching the twilight of his career, Caleb has begun to transition to a teaching role, training the next generation of LSPD officers. A formidable man from a tough background, Officer Kareem Brown was born to either uphold or break the law. After falling in with a bad crowd in his youth, Kareem corrected his course and joined the LSPD, where his affinity with the streets helped him excel. His uncompromising, no-nonsense attitude has made him a respected team member. Despite several complaints about his hard-handed style of policing, Kareem retains the support of his superiors. Now that we know who is going on the mission, let us find out why they are going on the mission. We have obtained two separate 911 calls made from the 4U gas station. At 11 p.m., Mudasya Varma was the first to call in for help. Again, I warn viewers, this may be disturbing. 
911, what's your emergency? Help! I'm being robbed! Okay, try to remain calm for me, sir. Where's the robbery taking place? The foil. Gas station. A drift on my drink. So tight. No, I'm done. They started shooting. Officers are on the way, sir. I need you to get somewhere safe, okay? And if you're able to, please tell me how many people you saw inside. I'm in the back room. I'm not sure how many. I take... Sir? Hello, sir? Are you there? Hello? Sir? No! 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 Not very long after Mudasir had made his call into 911, Charlotte Lake also made a call. 911, what's your emergency? Hello, my name is Charlotte Lake. I'm at a gas station and need help right now. Ma'am, are you at the Four U gas station on 5th and Van Drake's south side? Yes! Please, please, please help! I, I got separated from my daughter, Crystal. I'm shooting people. Okay, I need you to listen to me carefully, okay? Follow my instructions. You need to find a safe place anywhere you can hide, and I need you to stay on the line with me, okay? Officers are already on the way. Okay. Okay. But please don't hang up. Oh, God. I'm here, ma'am. I need you to stay hidden and quiet for me until officers get there. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I think they're coming. It is at this point that we lose connection with Charlotte's call. With a confirmed armed robbery in progress, the LSPD SWAT are immediately called into the briefing room to be assessed of the situation. Listen up. At around 2300, we received multiple 911 calls from the 4U gas station at 5th and Van Drake and Southside. We believe this to be a stick-up robbery with multiple armed suspects. At this current time, we don't know the condition of 4U manager Mudasir Varma or Charlotte Layton, with both calling in during the robbery along with multiple other civilians in the premises, including Charlotte's daughter, Crystal Layton. First responders began locking down on the scene at 2340, containing the area for Deep Platoon's arrival. An officer on scene reported the sound of gunshots at 2345 within the main building. We can identify all three suspects on the scene. Andre Williams, Zion Pretlow, and Jaden Fletcher. All have their own run-ins with the law for drug-related offenses or violent crimes. Be advised, some or all may be under the influence of methamphetamine and incredibly erratic. This potentially showing their true motives to feed a lethal addiction even with the stick-up being high risk. We can assume their move was calculated, with DeBanco stopping by before the robbery for regular pickup of cash stored on the premises. DeBanco's employees are known to be at risk during their shifts, with many criminal acts committed against them, such as assault and attempted robberies. Along with the front entrance into the store, there's a second method of entry into the diner side area on the northern side. If both locations aren't viable options, there are two alternate entry points on both sides of the building. One may require a key card used by employees. You should be able to find it in an ox box on scene. Suspects may have broken away from the main building into the side garage on the eastern side. Exercise caution when moving around the exterior. It is unlikely the suspects are wearing armor. They are armed and have demonstrated their intent to cause harm. We do know at least one of the suspects is carrying a 9mm semi-automatic pistol, as described by a witness. Remember to only use lethal force on what you deem as an imminent threat to you or your element, as well as civilians present at the scene. Plan and coordinate your actions accordingly. And get to work. The team quickly gears up and hops into the Bearcat, an armored car specifically designed for military and SWAT use. There is little to no chatter amongst the team. Every one of them is focused on the mission ahead. Talk to entry team. Entry team, suspects have taken refuge in the area and are refusing to cooperate. Move in. Entry team to talk. One wounded civilian requires immediate medical. Talk reporting. Medical assistance is standing by. The team is immediately Watch faced with the gravity the of the current situation. A wounded civilian on the ground, soaking in a pool of his own blood. They report the wounded civilian back to talk. The Tactical Operations Center, who will send in trailers, units specifically designed to sweep in behind the team, to help anyone in need of medical aid or to pick up evidence and arrest any suspects at the scene. Okay, okay, don't shoot. 
There appears to be a civilian on the outside of the building. The team isn't going to take any chances, though. They slowly move in to cuff him, all while keeping their guns at the ready. This could easily turn into one of the more dangerous situations for any officer of the law. What appears to be a cooperative civilian surrendering could easily be a suspect waiting for them to get in close, just waiting for their opportunity to attack. Moving into handcuffs. Everything's gonna be okay. Top element to top. Good to go. Two team to top. Two element. Roger that. Trailer's incoming. Proceed with caution. Split the door. Moving up. Door's locked. Can you get the lock? Got the lock. The team stacks up on the door. Lock is picked. They then use a mirror gun to peek under, giving them a much better idea of what is on the other side. Seeing no immediate hostile threats, the order to open the door and clear the room is Opening given. Clear. Roger. Switch with me. Move, move, move! All we left. Put your hands up. Get down. Over here, boss. Nothing. Fuck you. Nothing here. Incapacitated. Suspect is incapacitated. Talk to high ground. Copy. EMTs and trailers are standing by. Down. The breach does not go as smoothly as they had hoped. But then again, Safe. they rarely do. Element to talk. Stop them. This is talk. Copy that. Trailer's incoming. Contact Ground down. down. High ground to talk. Suspect down. Wounded. Talk reporting. Let's Let's go. Affirmative. Make them stable and proceed with mission. With the team officially in the building, they must wait. now complete the most daunting task Stay of all, clearing Please, each room down. one by one, along with locating any evidence that there may be on scene. Talk to entry team. Roger that. Trailer's incoming. Proceed with caution. Stop. Falling behind me. I got you. Guess these guys aren't too happy about inflation. Right with you. Now that the back half of the building has been cleared, the team must move to the front and do the same. Move in and clear it. I'm good to go. LSPD, don't move! Moving into handcuff. Suspect cuffed and secure, making it safe. It's for everyone's safety. Cuff High and ready. To talk. Civilian High ground ready for to transport. talk. Civilian is talk ready to, to go. Element. Roger, entry team. Great work. Keep going. There is a saying that special operations units in the military like to use that is very applicable to SWAT. Post up left side. In position. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. It's open. We're good to go. Through the door and clear. Got Swap. It. Swap with me. Reaching! Opening on the left. Empty over here. No contacts. Nothing here, sir. Hey, I work here. We need to talk. We have a civilian in custody and ready for transport. Talk to high ground. Roger that. Trailers on route. Now, all that is left for the team to do is clear the center kitchen and office area of the building. And hopefully locate Crystal Layton in the process. Go, go, move it, go! Opening on the left. Places to hide. I got nothing here. I got nothing here.
David Bulmer breathes a sigh of relief as he finds Crystal hiding in a closet. He quickly reports it back to Tuck, before continuing to clear the final office area. There is only one seer left to find. It's open. We're good to go. Get the door. Clear it. Confirmed. That switch. I'm going! Opening on the right. Good here. Entry team to talk. We got a deceased civilian requesting tents. Talk to entry team. Copy that. Put them on safe and let them hang. So the overall mission ends in a success. Though innocent lives were still lost. Mudasir Varma, the 4 you manager among the dead. But Sharla and Crystal Layton managed to survive the ordeal. They have moved away from the city and have no intentions of returning anytime soon. Now the team must return home, try to unwind and relax as best they can, before they are inevitably called out again. This has been an inside look into the Los Sueños SWAT. Join us next time for another harrowing journey into the darkness with them.